What's up everybody and welcome to another episode of Outer Space Reviews. In today's episode, I felt like doing something a little bit different. We're going to review some pop vinyls today. So starting off with, wait, we got... Wait, no, no. Chris, that's it. We're doing some quality content today. I don't want any of this pop. Out, 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 you get, out, you get. Take the pop with you. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh yeah. Enough of those pops. I have something far more exciting for you guys in today's episode of Outer Space. I have commandeered this episode and you may be asking who the hell is this? Well, I am Lost Kiwi Designs. I will be replacing Chris whenever he is incompetent. If you want to know more about me, check out the description below. I've left a few links. I've taken over. This is all my channel now. Lost kiwi in space if you can guess who i'm dressed as and if you're up to date with some of the current releases you'll know exactly where i'm heading with this dx not a shiko driver if you're interested in collectibles and japanese pop culture remember to like this video hit subscribe and check out some of our other content we have some pretty interesting videos in japan as well as some reviews on this channel we're here for you every second monday pew, pew, pew. it's bad time this belt came out late february of this year for about 8800 yen but we got it a little bit cheaper because it had box damage look at that damage it's so severe oh my god can't even handle this belt has never been released before this is the first time we're getting it 10 years since the series came out remember it's the 10th anniversary of forze this year does it make you feel old yet? Narashiko only appears in the O's and Wizard crossover movies. I would forgive that transgression if it wasn't for the Skull Gun. It came out one month within the W Decade movie release. But I digress, I'm super excited for this belt and I'm eager to get into it. So let's open it up. This is the first time this box is getting opened. So I better be careful, let's use the sharp knife. So this is a box art, we've got Narashiko on the front. Got it with Forze on the back. We got the switches it comes with on the top and just the title on each side and the details. BDQ, let's take a closer look at the details. Details. <laughs> look at that. Mint. So over here we've got five switches. We got our driver and our belt attachments. Rocket switch, radar switch, the gate switch, the solo switch, and the Narashiko switch. Now here's the belt. We'll put it on a display in a second. You will notice that the paint job and quality of this is a DX, so for like a kid's toy, not so much an adult collector's piece, still very cool. But let me talk you through what comes in here. The Rocket, Radar, Narashiko and Gate switches, these two are difficult to get. So it's really good that they were re-released in this set. These two, you can see them here, they're pretty easy to get still. The Narashiko switch came bundled with a first edition photo book, was about 80 bucks when we last checked. The gate switch was only available in the first edition Forze Miracle Rider box. The Solo switch is a repaint of the crane hand switch. So it's similar, but it's gonna have some different sounds. Now we're gonna get into the sounds that all these switches make. It's definitely more exciting than their looks. The Narashiko belt is a direct recast of the Forze belt. However, there's a few key differences. You can tell, different color. I do actually prefer this color. It looks really nice in person. They have sealed up the two center switch consoles. They are totally sealed. You cannot remove these. We also have a different display LED screen here with Narashiko in it. We also have the limit brake handle hidden down here. It's a little bit difficult compared to the nice big chunky handle over there, but it's still kind of cute. I like the real sleek design of this one. Now I'm going to magically put this on my display dizer. Huh. Magic. This is the belt. Looking pretty cool. Takes about, not about, it takes exactly three AAA batteries. Now let's turn it up. We're going to start with the two main switches. So we got rocket. And radar. Raider. Now let's do the henshin sequence. Now we can activate the switches. Raider. 
The basic sounds are limited, but we can activate the Narushiko voice modes. To activate this mode, you turn the knob down here and then you turn it on and it's activated. Now that we're in the Narushiko voice mode, you can turn the knob down here and it says a whole bunch of her catchphrases. Now she also has some catchphrases while in the suit. Now it comes with some catchphrases for special attacks. There's a lot of phrases in there. Now with this belt, there is four different ways that you can transform. Now let's henshin. There's her first transformation. First transformation with voice lines. Second transformation. Second transformation with voice lines. Now I want to test out some other ride switches with this belt. I'm sure you do too. So let's have a look at some that I've prepared earlier. I'm going to start with our legendary rider switches. Here we have Rider Man. And Nigo. So you can use all of the Astro switches with this belt, so long as you got your circle, square switch, which means that we can use the magnet states. Have my north and south. That's looking pretty cool. And now we'll try our meteor switch. Now let's try the super rocket switch. Always love that this switch had the sound coming out of the switch too. Very cool. Now for this next one, we'll need the meteor again. Because we're gonna try fusion. Now we're going to quickly try the solo switch to see what it does. Nothing. It does nothing. It does nothing because there is no activation at the bottom of it. So it won't activate anything on any of the drivers. It's more for show. Now because this one doesn't have an X, we're going to try the Nadashiko Fusion on the Forze driver. For the Forze Nadashiko Fusion state, we're going to need one, two, three, and four. These 
these are all the switches that the Forze Natashiko Fusion has. I'm so happy to have them all. Thank you all so much for joining me to review this Natashiko belt and switch set. It was pretty amazing. I do really enjoy it, even though it does have some limited functionality. The range of voices is really cool. This is going to be part of a future cosplay for me. If you enjoyed joining me today to have a look at some Forze goodies, please leave a like on this video. Comment below. Now it's the 10th anniversary of Forze. What Forze goodies are you eager to collect? We are just so keen to have this in our collection. We're only missing a few switches here and there, but I'm sure we'll finish it pretty soon. If you want to know more about what I get up to, check out the links in the description below. But otherwise, I've been Lost Cutie Designs. Thank you for joining me with this belt review. We'll see you in the next one. Bye!